October the 2nd. Close to the end of the year and with that we start to think we start to worry about the Christmas shopping and then we start to really feel bad about those resolutions we didn't keep throughout this year but it's okay because uh, Dr. Gia is here with us today she's a life coach and so okay. who better than you to be here how are you Dr. Gia I'm really good I'm glad to be doing this segment I know you. me too because I need the help I'm all over the place all the time so you have five preventative measures yes to have end the year strong yes. and start a new one strong yes Okay, so revisiting last year's resolutions. Okay, so we know that we had these resolutions for what we wanted to do in the beginning of the year and all the way through the year. Mm -hmm. and we probably haven't gotten them all done. So now we're thinking about, oh my gosh, New Year's is coming. Right. So what I say is go back to that list and start getting, knocking some stuff off. Sure. So that when January comes, you can be like, okay, I actually did finish something. Right. Or you get a little head start. Yes. Anyway. And mm -hmm. it's exciting because if you don't, what happens is we feel like we failed, causes depression, mm -hmm. and, you know, things happen before you even get to January again. I so, know. Yeah. It's a tough, resolutions, I, I'm just one of those people, I, I'll start them, mm -hmm. but I can never finish them. You're not alone. Oh, yeah, you're totally not. Alone. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about weight tension because this is a big one. It, okay. it is for me because yeah. a lot of times I'm like, right after Halloween, I want to start getting on my diet again, if not right after Thanksgiving. Why do we do that? Okay, really, it's, again, because we, we want to look good, we mm -hmm. want to feel good, but what we need to do is, okay, fine, you want to start that. I don't like the word diet, folks. Mm -hmm. It's not a good word. Okay, so new eating regime. <laughs> new eating regime. Re new okay. eating regime. Okay. So what we do is we say, okay, we're going to eat better. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving's coming, but we're going to start. So when Thanksgiving comes, we know we're going to have one or two days that we are going to eat a lot. Right. Build, build it into what you already know. Don't, okay. don't be surprised. It's not a surprise that you're going to eat a lot on Thanksgiving. It's crazy. And we mm -hmm. do that like, oh, I'm not going to. So build it in to what's going on. And then after that, what, what, you know, you do measures like walking, like we were talking sure. about walking, uh -huh. doing hikes, doing something to, um, you know, work off the Just food that you ate. Exactly. Yeah. But at least you don't feel as bad. Right. Because you already know you started. Okay. And it's preventative. I need help with this next one. Okay, what? Plan ahead. Okay. Give me some tips about when it comes to planning ahead and just being on top of your game because I struggle. Okay, okay well, like I said, just with knowing that Thanksgiving's coming, mm -hmm. we are going to calmly, staying in the moment, folks, mindfulness, okay. stay in the moment, and we are going to say, okay, we'll meet you and your hubby. Mm -hmm. Maybe after Thanksgiving, you do like a romantic picnic and you, you put walking in it so it's okay it's it's holiday time it's nice it's family mm -hmm. but you are doing something preventative and you're planning ahead so right it's, it's okay just so you incorporate all the good things into one yeah you conclude exercise and 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 um and also if, if you don't like to do a lot of exercise or whatever mm -hmm. um do something where uh, the river walk you know, yeah. go on the river walk. It's nice to just get out on the river walk every mm -hmm. now and then and say, wow, I need to get out here more. Right. I mean, go window shopping. You know, that's fun. That's yeah, always so. fun. And speaking of shopping, holidays, okay. everybody gets stressed out because it, the stores are packed. You right. don't know if your budget's going to be enough. You just get stressed all together. Right. Okay. So there's some things like, uh, what is it, pay to save. Mm -hmm. There's um, Tuesday mornings, which I love because I work part-time there. I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. They sell good stuff. I love it. So what you can do is instead of just um, waiting to the last moment again, it's it's preventative. You want to mm -hmm. do it now. Just go into, you know, Tuesday morning on one of their sales and pick something up just, uh, yeah. and say, okay, this is for hubby. This is for Jessica. This mm -hmm. is for what? This is for me. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> it's always something right? for you. And, um, and, and have it so that when when Christmas comes or mm -hmm. it's like Christmas Eve, you're not one of the crazy people going out Last there going, minute shopping oh my God. for everybody. Right. Yeah. So again, it's just being mindful, using mm -hmm. all our techniques that I've been teaching you guys for a long time okay. and, and just staying in the moment and um, just really honoring the fact that we love what we're doing, but we want to do it better. And how we can sure. do that is um, planning. Okay. And how about being spiritual? How okay. important is that? I think it's really important. I mean, you know, everybody has different religions and all that kind of stuff, but just knowing that there's something bigger than us mm -hmm. that, that we can depend on sure. and that we can go to, if it's your synagogue, your church, um, you know, some people have just like peer, and, and that for them is very sure. spiritual. Just making sure that you do not just stay in yourself, mm 
and that you take all this weight onto yourself and mm -hmm. and that you share it with people Good. and so okay. it, I mean these are amazing things they are and those if you implement those things you'll yeah. be fine and just finish out your year not feeling terrible but finishing out strong. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Gia. To learn more uh -huh. about Dr. Gia Edwards, she's a life coach, you can log on uh, to freeworldministry.info or give her a call at 281-772-5843. Okay, everybody, coming up.